In this problem, I'll start by getting this in the right form. The right form is this. So it'll be y prime plus p of x times y is equal to q of x. On the first term with the y prime, there's an x squared. So I'll go ahead and I'll divide all the terms in the original equation by x squared. It'll look like this. Now I need to find mu. Mu is going to be equal to e to the power of p of x dx. And we look for the p of x in the new equation, which is 1 over x. So mu is going to be equal to e to the power of the integral of 1 over x dx. So mu will be equal to e to the power of ln x. This e is going to cancel with the ln. And mu is going to be equal to x. Now we multiply mu to all the terms in the modified equation. So that'd be y prime times x plus y is equal to 1 over x. Now that the left hand side of the equation is just the power rule. When you take the derivative of mu times y, and we said mu was x, so it'll be y times x. And that's the derivative will be equal to 1 over x. Now we can integrate both sides. On the left, the integral will cancel the derivative. On the right, 1 over x dx is just ln x. So yx will be equal to ln x. Don't forget the plus c. So y will be equal to ln of x over x plus c over x. And that is your final answer. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.